So I'm here on Straight Talk with a gentleman. His name is Chris Cantor. He's with the Hayes Elementary School in Lakewood, Ohio. Now, Chris, I think there's some big news. You were just told something this afternoon, weren't you? Yes, sir. Tell us about it. I was presented with the tenant key custodians are key national award and i'm just beyond excited I, it's it's unbelievable I, I can't thank tenant enough yeah that's really cool i i found out yesterday morning i think so so here i am to be able to talk to you about it i think it was just like an hour ago maybe yeah about uh, 2 30 uh, okay yeah, over, over an hour yeah very good so it's the tenant company's custodians are key contest i think there were like 2,000 entries and um, it was a surprise for you. Your peers that you work with must think highly of you because they, uh, they're the ones that submitted your nomination. I know. How did it feel when you were told? How'd they tell you? Tell us about the experience. Well, from the beginning, months ago, when I was first nominated, they mentioned that they had nominated me for something. I said, oh, that's nice. And I really just took it as a nice gesture. I'm like, oh, that's kind. And I, I really didn't think much would come of it and then next thing you know I made this semifinals and I was I was blown away with that and uh, so excited to tell everybody all my friends and then uh, and then this now I'm just I, I I'm really lost for words uh, so I yeah. showed up at the school they, they got me out of the school for something my boss had me come down to the board for some stuff it didn't make any sense to me and we talked about some stuff next thing I know I come back and uh, they managed to gather up about 95% of the staff any that weren't on vacation, they all came in to celebrate. They were all in the gymnasium and and uh, gave me a big old surprise. I, I I was thinking my birthday isn't for another, <laughs> I got a 50th birthday coming up here in, in uh, February. I'm like, we're way ahead of that. What is going on? And then I saw the sign check for tenant and it added up real quick. And I, I just couldn't believe it. Yeah. I, can't, well, I, still can't, I still can't believe it. Well, again, good for you. Congratulations. You've worked hard for it. I, I believe the grand prize was $15,000, which is split between you and the school. I guess this means you might be buying the next pizza party for your staff. That's what I was thinking. I think it, it's on me. It's on me. <laughs> on you. Hey, tell us about where you work, the school. Is it elementary school? Yes, sir. Okay. And, and I, I believe, and I was told this, that you know every student's name. Almost. Um, there's, I, I try to the best I can. I usually, uh, I'll cross some names up, but I do the best I can because they're all just great kids. And it, it, I, that's where I really wanted to become a part of their lives, really. Mm -hmm. and I didn't, didn't want to just be like a fly on a wall and get, be lost. Um, I wanted them to realize I'm there for them as well. And, you know, hey, you know, I, I live in the same community as them. I only live about 15 houses from the school. So it's it's my town. I've lived here my whole life. So getting to know even more kids in the neighborhood is just a great thing and to be a part yeah. of their life it just it makes it makes you feel good well if you've got most of the names uh memorized good for you i know whatever few you have left you'll get done it is a uh, summertime so there'll be a new school year coming up uh, probably yeah. some new, new names to learn as well uh tell me about this program called kids with cantor okay about a year and a half ago we had a our new uh, principal, we have a new principal this year, but the previous principal, I was trying to think of an idea of something I could do with the kids to be more than just, hey, how you doing? Good morning. Hey, you know, let me help you out. I wanted to, what can I do to help them out? And I thought, how about a, like a construction program? And, um, but it's kids, so I was thinking, what am I going to do? And I thought, well, I, I was familiar with Home Depot because I have two daughters now that are growing up and in college. One's graduated. But I, uh, I knew they had that little Home Depot project. And I mean, that might work. So I ran up by the principal and said, hey, well, do you think I could do something like this after school? Would you mind? And she's like, sounds like a great idea. Go for it. Kids love you. So I said, all right. So I went to Home Depot. And there's also a local hardware store. I, I managed to get them to donate some tools. And guess what? I got some tools, and Home Depot now provides me monthly with a project. And I pick wow. a grade. And I usually start with kindergarten, well, first grade, and work my way all the way up to fifth grade once a month and meet with each group of kids, whoever wants to participate. And uh, we build a little project from birdhouses to little toys around the holidays, a little helicopter, little neat things. They love it. They get to use a hammer. A lot of kids, surprisingly, have, well, I guess not really surprisingly, but I was surprised a lot of kids actually have used a hammer and I was you know also surprised that some of the kids had never even picked up a hammer which made me more excited because those are the ones I really wanted to 
here you go, you get your first shot at it. So they just love whacking that hammer around and screwing and screws in with the screwdriver. So it's it's a it's a blast. Well, that's that's really cool, and uh, what an impact you're having on the students there at the school. And again, congratulations on being a tenant company's custodians, our key contest winner. Uh, so keep up the good work. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll talk to you another time. That's great. Thank you.